generally when we talk about feng shui, we have the short term, we have long term and we have evergreen. So this chart here is just an explanation. Uh, you've seen it before in the basic uh, program. It's, uh, um, I'm just showing the different systems of feng shui uh, based on its application model, okay? So it's just three, three things. So there's so many systems of feng shui, uh, primarily the San Yuan and San He schools of feng shui. As you can see, it's highlighted San Yuan and San He. They are actually, they belong to the same uh, category. They actually belong to the same group of uh, system. It's just that uh, over the, you know, the last 1,500 years, uh, because it is taught differently to different people and everyone has got their own ideas, it sort of branched out to uh, two different groups. And then because, as you know, over time, people have their own experiences and because uh, they live in different provinces which have different mountain formations, different environment. So they also further develop the, the systems of uh, their, their feng shui and later on you have uh, subsystems, okay? So what happens now is um, we generally just need to know that there are most of the time uh, when we apply feng shui to large pieces of land or big, big properties, normally we would go for evergreen models. Or if you are one of those who generally don't want to rely on feng shui too much or you don't want to keep changing and updating your feng shui all the time, you don't want to be adjusting your door directions, you don't want to be adjusting your bed, you don't want to be putting cures here and there, then generally the evergreen model is what you are, you are you should be focusing on okay evergreen models are um, landforms eight mansions and uh, what we call the sun her water and dragon methods so this type of feng shui uh, it's it's uh, it's not it's it's difficult to learn uh, because it involves a lot of observation but it's easy to use Whereas if you're talking about short term and, and, and long term, this requires uh, adjustments. When we say long term in feng shui, we are referring to the uh, 20 year cycle and or the 27 year cycle or the 18 year cycle uh, of uh, feng shui, okay? Now there are cycles. The, uh, what we're gonna, I, I will be explaining to you, there are different time uh, systems, but generally, uh, the shortest available uh, uh, year is 18, the longest is 27. So those are called long-term feng shui. Okay, so what, why we use long-term feng shui? Well, generally there is a plan, right? If you have a plan to start a, let's just say you want to start a business, a business cannot be successful just you know less than a course of six months. It will probably take about three years, five years to build something, maybe 10 years to build a strong foundation uh, and, and maybe 20 years to build a good, uh, an actual good asset, right? So that's the long-term plan. But along the way, there are some changes, some uh, adjustments. So that's called long-term feng shui. Short-term is when you need to fix problems immediately. So you have a challenge right now, you want to sort this challenge out, you want to sort this problem out, you want to solve this thing now, you make adjustments now, okay? So short term, okay? So this type of feng shui is very different than long term feng shui. You understand what I mean now? There is a difference between uh, these two things, okay? Uh, so when we understand um, how to use the feng shui, we generally will be able to sort of adjust our short term. So if you do it well, probably you might become really rich.